This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, TX Burger, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there's to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and when it comes to historical hotels here in Texas, there is a hierarchy of locations on the list. But in our capital city, there is one building that has so much history, so much grandeur, that it's well worth a stop on the Texas Bucket List. Sixth Street is synonymous with live music, good times, and staying out past your bedtime. But if you find yourself in need of a fancy place to stay and sleep off the spirits, just walk a few feet to the front doors of the Driscoll Hotel. This is part hotel, part historical landmark, and part museum, and very Austin. <laughs> Jenna Reed works at the Driscoll, a hotel that's been a part of the Austin skyline since 1886. This actually predates the Capitol building by about two or three years. The vision of Colonel Jesse Driscoll, an honorary title given to him by the Confederate Army, Driscoll amassed his fortune in the cattle business and in 1885 purchased this city block for $7,500. Over the next year, he built his 60-room hotel at a cost of $400,000. That's equivalent to over 10 million today. The problem was that at the time, Austin was a cow town. Way ahead of its time, Driscoll's Hotel was said to be the finest hotel south of St. Louis. But just two years after opening, Driscoll lost his fortune to a late spring freeze that killed his cattle and left him broke. After he lost the hotel, the record of history kind of goes a little bit quiet about him. Doesn't exactly have the happy ending that you would have you would like to see from you know the visionary who thought Austin of a boon town back in 1886. So this is the painting of Colonel Jesse Driscoll himself. Okay. And uh, right around the turn of the century, there was actually a shootout that happened in the lobby, and the painting was damaged wow. by two gunshots. Now that's a Texas story right there. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so somewhere on here there was a gunshot. I'm assuming right about here on his uh, arm. Yes, that's one of them. There's right. another one. There's another one? Oh! There's another one that's even a little bit more visible. Way up here on the shoulder? Yep, that is it. Look at that. So, uh, they were able to get it restored pretty well, but you can still see, as long as the light hits just right, you can still see the two shots. Paintings aren't even safe around here. No, oh, it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, the hotel has expanded, been renovated, and was even spared the wrecking ball back in the late 60s. It's literally seen history in the making. Just working here is like being part of history. There's so many legendary tales out of the Driscoll Hotel. Thank you. Who better to tell these stories than one of the most famous bartenders in Texas, David Highfill. Since 1982, he's been creating exceptional elixirs in the hotel saloon. Signature cocktails, okay. which I highly recommend. I've been here actually over a fourth of the time this hotel's been here. <laughs> I'm feeling awfully old these days. Just sitting and listening to the things he's seen, the people he's met, and the political deals made while he's been behind this bar, makes you realize how critical to Texas history this place is. I've waited on every, everybody from rock stars, politicians, movie stars, to actually uh, one time a hitman. <laughs> Texas legends such as Willie Nelson loves the bar, he'll stop by the bar. I've talked to Willie in here before, the nicest guy in the world. I had a great conversation with Jerry Garcia right here at this bar. And William Shatner walking in with, his, with a lovely lady and he's like, where can I get a bite to eat? <laughs> it's just the way he is. It's been fascinating because you never know who's going to walk in the doors. Before David's time, LBJ had his first date with Lady Bird right here. Today, you can get a libation named after the former first lady. Yeah. How about a Lady Bird? Let's do it. Yeah, okay, it's a, it's a wonderful drink. Made with tequila, St. Germain, and grapefruit juice. I don't order pink drinks too often, but <laughs> to Lady Bird. <laughs> it's surprisingly strong. Wonder what Lady Bird would say to this. I don't know. Because it, uh, like I said, she never drank tequila <laughs> when I served her. <laughs> From LBJ watching election results to discussions of George W.'s cabinet back in 2000, 
decisions made in this room have had an effect on our entire country. Well, these walls could talk, the stories they could tell you, so I try to speak for them as much as I can. There's nothing quite like it, and the amount of care that's gone into its history, you know, from day one of Driscoll himself building it in the middle of nowhere, essentially, to the city of Austin saving it in 1969, to now you have, you know, all of these renovations going on behind the scenes to make sure that everything stays as perfect as possible. I think that that makes it a really special place. So take some time to check in and check out the Triscoll Hotel, an old Austin haunt with so many stories to tell. It is Texas. I mean, it's just a place that you walk in the doors and you know you're in Texas and it just, it just radiates that. The amount of history that's happened in these halls and the fact that Everything is still happening here. I, this is still really central to Austin culture and Austin nightlife, and I think that's why you know you need to visit it. <laughs> need to visit it before you die. <laughs> if you're a proud Texan, you you want to you want to come here. <laughs>